really happy to see all of you here joining us for the award ceremony of our Airbus Cargo Drone Challenge that we have run together with our partners, Local Motors. We started this project early this year and I would say it's been extremely successful. We were overwhelmed by the response, 425 entries. So I'm going to hand over to Jay first. Good morning and thank you so much. Uh, the first thanks for us today goes to our community. Local Motors and Airbus together brought a community from around 53 countries and uh, the representatives of them here today stand on the shoulders of all of the people who competed in this challenge. This is the first exploration with Airbus to operate in drone services or in drones in the air. And uh, um, the most important thing about what we do is focusing on technology adoption. The pace of disruptive innovation is strongly at our heels. And I look forward to all of the things that we will launch in days, months, weeks, and years to come. So I'll turn it over to Dirk Hockey. Thank you so much. It is fascinating to see uh, how fast collaboration can and elaborate. Uh, the idea was only born in, in January when our investment fund invested uh, into this idea and then already the cargo drone challenge was launched in, in April and only six weeks later there was already a downsizing to 20 of the ideas, many of that you see in the background. And now already in July 13 we, we are proudly in a position to announce the winners of, of the three competition challenges. This is really a, a new way of developing things to see how we can do hardware development in a much shorter time frame and how we can also show and prove to our teams that we can do this in a different scale, in a different speed than we were used to uh, in the past. In total we talk about a price range above $100,000 and uh, what is even more important is that in the weeks to come we will still work on the demonstrator together with the winners. We make sure that uh, in September, which is for us very important, we will do the hackathon to look at the business models, to look at the environment, the applications where we're going to use uh, this kind of drone today. Uh, the, the winners will be announced uh, and uh, I'm really proud that uh, the ideas are far beyond uh, what we expected. As you already heard, 425 uh, proposals were made and they are really all of high quality. So we're going to be moving to the announcement of the winners now, the interesting part. So Thunderbirds from Frédéric Le Esquilot from pont de in France. <laughs> then uh, we have our next winner, Finn Jonkers with Skypack. And Finn has been ranked first in the cargo prize and he got second in the community prize. We had Minerva with Dominic Felix Winger from Aachen in Germany and he was ranked third for the Airbus Prize. Well done Felix. <laughs> Coming in in second position we have Volans by Harvest Sung from Mountain View in California US. <laughs> so the winner of the Airbus cargo drone competition or challenge is Zelotor coming from Alexei Medvedev from Omsk in the Russian Federation. He not only took first prize for the Airbus Prize, but he also took third prize on the cargo. So fantastic. You will see the design behind me, an absolutely beautiful design. Um, unfortunately, our winner is not here in person with us today. I'm Alexei Medvedev and uh, on the one hand, I'm very happy that I am uh, won the main uh, price of this challenge. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm very sad because I am not uh, with you, I'm not in Farnborough. He's here in spirit. He's thinking about us right now. Tears were shed over two times when he left his hometown to make it to Moscow to try to get his visa. And so please give him a round of applause and he'll have this jacket soon. We well, have to say I'm extremely happy and proud for the first time at Airbus we've run this uh, open innovation competition together with our friends from Local Motors. And what's amazing here is that we're tapping into the best and brightest all over the world. And the winner is a, a Russian uh, engineer from Omsk in Siberia. And the real concept is, the real breakthrough is uh, to do this open innovation in a fraction of the time. So we're testing here something which I believe will in the future a very important and integral part of the development philosophy of Airbus 
uh, at large. And I find it fascinating. It's a great premiere and I'm sure we'll see more of it in the future.